Now, Rick, one of the questions that I have for you, uh, John Q. Public, and many of us really, we think about the market, the economic climate. Who the heck is coming out to build these type of properties? I mean, where is that money coming from? Can you be confident with that type of exit strategy? Is there enough volume to make this worthwhile? There are specific communities that have the fundamentals that will position you to be able to accomplish these kind of returns. We are very selective. We've looked at dozens and dozens of communities to verify the financials of the HOA, to verify the positioning of who the buyers are. In this particular community, the answer to your question is very simple. The majority of the purchasers in this gorgeous community come from overseas. In fact, over the last 12 months, a huge influx of Brazilian buyers have come in to build these very modern homes in these luxury communities. Um, also, we found a lot of Europeans as well coming in. We have a lot of people from uh, uh, actually Australia as well that we've seen. And so because of this, you'll see that in these subdivisions, you have a lot of these very wealthy entrepreneurs who buy these properties uh, as their second home, as their vacation, as a retirement home in the U.S. And because you have that type of clientele, as you can see from this footage, they are very, very nicely built, quality, luxury properties. Now, we're entering another X section of this subdivision where the lots are a little bit bigger. They're 50 foot wide. But again, as you see some of these very custom, unique homes, when somebody who's coming from another country, who's investing millions of dollars to build their beautiful home, come here, many times a single wide lot is not capable of producing that. So I'm going to show you this little green or gray house in front of us here. This was another investor who came in, wanted to build the monstrosity house. In fact, this was just recently built, and that's on two lots. So he had to assemble the package of double lots, pay the premium for those two, and then he was able to accomplish building a house of this type of footprint and magnitude. And as you'll see, you can tell the oh difference in these homes with the magnitude of the house that is being built in comparison to a one lot. And that is the reason why somebody is going to pay a premium to somebody like me or our organization when they're ready to build this custom home. So one of the components, again, is understanding the value aspect of the land. And then the second component that's critical is having the right network of team members who deal directly with these types of clients who are looking for an assembled package already turnkey for them. Here's another one coming up as well, so that you can see that there's a demand for this type of product. Again, another gorgeous footprint on a double lot. And you can see that it would not be able to be accomplished without that extra space with the double lots. You can even see it by the footprint of this property right here. As beautiful as it is, it doesn't compare because of the size. Uh, another example, we work with a lot of builders and we have a lot of great relationships. As we're pulling in here, I'm going to show you another property that was also built on a double lot. And this is a massive property. In fact, it's one of the elevations that we're considering in another project of ours. But if you see as we're pulling in, look straight ahead right here for me. This is actually another double lot investment. And if you can see from just looking straight ahead, look at this compound. That footprint would be impossible on a 50-foot lot. Very but cool. assembled with two lots, you now have 100 feet of space that allows you the opportunity to build this type of, of quality home. Phenomenal, phenomenal views. It looks amazing. The interior design is great. The builder is a great builder that we know. And um, again, you can really tell the level of depth to this house and how large it is just by seeing. It, it almost looks like a compound. But again, it's something that you could not accomplish without first having assembled the house.